Ladies and gentlemen, your videos are not providing enough value on YouTube, and neither are mine. I'm here to tell you today why your videos and my videos are not performing the way that we expect them to perform in 2024. How many times have you heard somebody say, you need to be creating videos with more value? You need to be adding more value to the audience. You need to be creating videos your audience wants. On and on and on. But what does any of that mean? What is the value? Well, I had an epiphany recently for my own channel as a small gaming creator, and I'm gonna share what I realized with you in this video. Let's go. So I'm gonna try to keep this as short, simple, and sweet as I can for you guys because the concepts that all of these channels talk about really are that way. It's very simple. The YouTube algorithm is an untamable beast at times. However, it's very simple in what YouTube is and understanding what people on YouTube are looking for. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world behind Google. Everyone knows that by now. YouTube is simply Google in video form. Now, what does that mean? That means that YouTube, just like Google, hosts all of its websites, indexes all of its information via websites. YouTube is a video repository for what people are looking for when it comes to answers to their problems. Boom, there's your value. Value, 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 flash it on the screen. What niche are you in on YouTube? How can you solve a problem through your video content? How can you provide relative and important information through your content in your niche on YouTube? Boom, you just got to a million views. It's simple, it's not really that simple because YouTube again is an untamable beast with search engine optimization, keywords and hashtags, descriptions, data and metadata, thumbnails, titles, the list goes on and on. However, the epiphany that I had was exactly this. The reason that my videos have not been performing well is not because the thumbnails are not good, they're baller. It's not because my SEO and my tags and title and all that shit are not on point. They are. It's because I have been publishing content that serves no one but myself. If you are in the gaming space like me, no one is on YouTube in 2024 unless they're an already established creator with a following that's there to see and interact with them specifically who's looking for full-length gameplay matches of video games. By and large, that audience just doesn't exist anymore. If that's something you're gonna sit down at your computer and do, pull out your iPad or, or your iPhone and do, you're going to go to Twitch because that's the live streaming platform for real-time interaction, watching somebody play a game. That's not what YouTube is. That's not what YouTube is for. That's why YouTube has not invested more into its live streaming service because YouTube is a repository for information to solve problems. I'll say it again. So when you are creating videos, when I am creating videos to all my fellow YouTube creators, we need to be slowing down and thinking about what this content is going to do for our audience. What solution is it going to provide? What information is it going to provide? And if it is just a vanity-based, flashy, kickback, have a good time video, how do we make it the most fun and engaging type of content we can for that specific type of video? Because that particular type of video is going to be the hardest type of video for you to keep your audience's attention in because they know nothing is coming. They know they're not going to be getting anything out of it 
It is a vanity-based video. It serves you more than it serves anyone else. That's exactly why my last two videos have not been performing and a few of the other videos on my channel that I've posted reflecting exactly what I'm talking about here have performed exceedingly well for my channel. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have hit the five minute mark on the video. Can we get it done in under 10? I believe we can. That was my epiphany. It hit me hard. Holy shit, no one cares about my gameplay videos because no one's on YouTube simply searching for this random guy playing a game. Let me sit down and watch that for 30 minutes. And no one's watching your content for the same reason. Now, it doesn't matter what your niche is. If you're in finance, you're probably not going to make a video of you just counting money and expect people to watch it, right? You're going to make a detailed curated video about how money works and provide a solution to a problem. That's the value that everyone is referring to on YouTube. That's the value. There's an inspiration tab in your studio creator hub that will tell you topics, suggest you topics that may perform well and search phrases that you can base your ideas and videos around. That's, that's data that YouTube is giving us to help us create content for things that people actually want to see. It's right there. It's on the platform. And so when I realized this myself, when I was wearing my silk robe, but naked, I thought, holy shit, obviously no one's gonna watch these other videos. What purpose do they serve? So I've got to try to transition my channel away from just vanity-based videos of things I want people to see, and instead start figuring out how I can cater my videos toward providing some insight, some information and solutions to problems. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there are a million different things that can affect your video's performance on YouTube. That's just the nature of YouTube. It goes up and it goes down. It's a long journey and it's not for the faint of heart. But if we keep learning, if we keep having these realizations and helping each other through these processes, we will continue to grow. But above all, you have to remember that as a content creator on YouTube specifically, it is not about you. It is about the information that your content is providing to the world. So start trying to cater your ideas to that. Slow down a little bit. Remember what YouTube is and how YouTube is trying to work by matching videos with people that are searching for a specific thing and hopefully they like it. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes until the 10 minute mark. We're right there at the end. I feel personally this video helps you, helps me, helps other people who are tired of hearing people say your content isn't valuable, but never explaining why or what that means. I hope this video was valuable for you. The epiphany that I had about this is valuable for me. I hope that we are able to continue to grow together, push our channels and our videos to the next level. I know we can keep going, keep grinding. If you did find this video informative and useful, I would love a like on the video. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, but a like really does help the YouTube algorithm understand that this video serves an important purpose. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Let me know the epiphanies that you've had on your own channel. What was a game changer for you? What propelled you to the next level? We do stream here and on Twitch live three days a week. I'd love to have you in the community to engage about these topics, to talk about games, all the normal routine stuff that we love to do. So thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope your YouTube journey continues to be successful for you. Love that process. It is a grind. It is a lonely journey. 
five seconds until 10 minutes, baby. We did it. I'll see you in the next one.